Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today, guys, we will show you how to how to fix serpentine belt uh, uh, pulley that's really squeaking, annoying. Uh, especially when it's, it, it gets cold, uh, they tend to squeak. And uh, we'll show you guys how to fix those without buying one. How to grease them, how to clean them, and make them perform like new again. So. Yeah, we're working on that dot right here guys, that's the pulley right here, stay with us and you can see we're doing an engine replacement here, so let us let me show you what it looks like, uh, that's the engine, right there guys, big mess at the shop, don't blame us, everywhere, and we're going to install it today, we just put one magnum together today, so uh, stay with us, we're going to show you how to fix the pulley now. Okay guys, so you can see that tensioner pulley, listen now. Okay, when that thing is going fast, when the engine is running, that tensioner pulley is actually super squeaking. So, especially when it's cold. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it guys and show you how to grease it now. So with a 15 millimeter, we're going to remove the bolt for the tensioner pulley assembly. Okay, right here. And if you are replacing it, we'll recommend to get the whole assembly with the spring. Okay, and this one here is with a 13 millimeter socket. Okay, we're going to remove both of them now. Okay, just like that. So once we remove the tensioner pulley guys, right here. Okay, that's the noisy one. We need to remove that bolt. Almost all the cars are identical procedure. You remove it. This one specifically is with 13 millimeter socket. And usually, usually it's the bearing that goes bad on those. Okay, you can see that's the bearing. So we'll need to grease that thing because obviously, obviously it's a little bit dry inside most likely. So uh, we'll need to uh, clean it and put a little bit of fresh grease. You can see it leaked a little bit on the back side here. So we'll get a small screwdriver, okay, you need to be careful not to damage the seal and that's sometimes hard but if you grab it like that, okay, you can, you can pull it out. And look at that, there is almost no grease inside, you can hear it now. Okay, so definitely, definitely needs to be fixed, so we're going to go ahead and get some grease now. So we're going to remove the bearing seal on the other side as well. That way we can wash the bearing really good. Okay, and once we wash it, we'll show you. We need to apply some clean grease. That will default works really good. Uh, especially if you have the one for uh, uh, rust penetration and stuff because it eats the old grease really, really good. So we're going to spray some now. Okay, until it leaks out on the other side, spin it a couple of times. Okay, you can hear the noise. Real easy to spin now, but it needs grease because otherwise it will be it will be noisy. Okay, you can get even a little brush if you want to clean it a little bit better. This one specifically is not as bad as we thought, but it still needs grease. So uh, we're gonna use some uh, premium grease right here. Uh, that's pretty inexpensive guys, about $3 for the whole tube. You can buy a small package for like 20 cents. Okay, and we're going to apply some grease now. You need to make sure that it's a high speed grease. Okay, right here. So we're going to fill it in now. Okay, like that. And see how it's going to be now. A little bit on this side as well. Both sides will need a little bit. And you need to clean the, ex uh, the excessive amount of grease that you have on the outside after that. So you can see now it's, it's tight. So we're gonna spin it a couple of times and push the grease in again. That way it can, it can go uh, everywhere. Need to clean the seals really good. And uh, they're pretty easy to install. 
we'll show you how to do it. It's just important not to damage them when we pull when you pull them out. Okay, and all you have to do just push them in. Uh, you need to start on one side and just work your way around it. Okay, you can see it kind of even clicks, locks in place there. Okay, we almost got it. And now the other side as well here. Okay, you can see it went in. And we need to clean around it now. Wipe it really good. It's normal that you might get some grease out of it if you put a little bit too much when the car runs, but uh, it shouldn't be too much. Okay, and let's see how it turns now. No noise at all. Look at that, it looks, it sounds great. It feels really good, it doesn't have, no, it doesn't have any play in the bearing. So check it out, we put it together and there is no noise at all, it feels really good again, no play. So uh, all you have to do, just install it on the engine guys, put your serpentine belt. We might have the video for your vehicle on auto repair guys, check it out guys, that's our second channel which is growing crazy fast, thanks to you. Thank you for watching and thank you for the support guys, it means a lot to us.